Hi, welcome to Chad Silversmithing. Uh, first, thanks for coming to my channel. I appreciate you visiting. Uh, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button and leaving a comment, that helps out a lot. I really appreciate it if you do that. Um, today, I'm going to do some little cutout uh, tree earrings. Uh, I have a friend of mine who wanted to get make a pair for her, uh, have me make a pair for her daughter. And so I'm going to do a little bit of sawing, some, some detail sawing, probably more detail than I've done before. So I'm going to give it a try and see how it turns out. Uh, it'll be good practice for me, and it might turn out to be a pretty project. We'll see. Um, before we do that, though, I wanted to thank my YouTube subscribers, and I appreciate that, and I look forward to continued growth with you guys. It's nice to meet all the nice people here. Thank you for your support and your nice comments. I really appreciate it, as well as the financial support. I also wanted to thank my patrons over on Patreon. Uh, they're a really nice group of people. Um, they're paying for my premium content over there. And uh, I'm really enjoying uh, getting to know them and learning from them. I hope they're learning from me as well. With all that being said, let's get started on these earrings. I'm going to try using this little awl to get a very, see if I can get a good center punch point better than I've been getting with my, it's kind of hard to see the tip and it's not very sharp. So let's see if we can get a little, I think that's going to be a little better. to remember not to cut that one out. This does seem to be working for getting me a tiny, pretty accurate center punch. Question is, how many uh, drill bits will I break while I'm trying to punch little holes like that. <laughs> Probably a lot.
Well, that breaks my record on one of these uh, little tiny drill bits <laughs> by a long shot. I normally uh, break them after about the third hole. I don't think I've ever gotten that many out of one of these. I'm going to start with a, like a number of a double zero. Let's see. It seems like it might be a little bit too aggressive for what I'm doing here. But... the smallest detail stuff I've ever tried to do with a saw, so it'll be interesting to see if I can pull this off. I have my doubts. See how they turned out. Okay, so there's a little intervening time between when I did this and last time when I soldered these together, the rings anyway. And now I'm going to mount them on this. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to make sure I have them nice and round on the ring mandrel. sure they're flat in this dimension. Probably gonna, in order to ensure that I get a good uh, seam, I'm gonna flatten this out just a little bit. File, make sure we have a nice smooth surface. Or at least all in the same plane.
So in order to get a nice seam on these, I'm going to pre-melt some solder on the back side here, and that'll uh, keep it from having a lot of overflow, hopefully, if I can find some solder. Trying to use up all these little pieces I have laying around. Most of the heat needs to go into the bottom piece here. The top piece will get hot just by being right there. So just want to make sure that bottom piece gets hot enough for that solder to stick to it. There's one.
Gonna file these smooth now. If I did a good soldering job, it should look completely like just one piece when I'm done. So when I want to make a little tiny loop uh, for an ear wire, a lot of times I'll wrap a piece of wire, sometimes it's 20 gauge, sometimes it's 18 gauge, around a piece of 14 gauge wire, and that one's a little beat up, so I'm going to grab one that's not quite as... That's 16. There's a little piece that's pretty good shape. We'll just wrap it a couple of times around this piece of wire. <clears throat> just going to cut off a couple of these little rings. Line the back up. I generally solder those closed and then use the solder that I soldered it shut with to attach them to the earring. So let's see how that works today. Sometimes you have to add a little bit extra just to make sure it's got a good solid attachment. So I have plenty of solder over here, so I'm just going to go ahead and solder that closed. I think I need to fill my flux bottle here. <laughs> Before I attach these, I need to figure out exactly where I want this ring to, to sit. I think I want it straight above the trunk here. And so, I think if I line these designs up, that get it pretty close to the same spot. Put that up against there. Same way on this one.
One thing about using a pick is sometimes the solder sticks to it, or the flux sticks to it, I should say. Got a good solid seam there. Add a little bit extra in there just to get it going. There we go. Okay, and um, I usually polish these before I add the ear wires, so I'll do that after they pickle. But in the meantime, let's make sure they're pretty much symmetrical. Looks pretty good. Let's let them pickle for a while. So, here's my little earrings. I think they came out pretty good. Uh, it's the first time I've sawn out uh, trees before, and I, I like the result. It's always a little hard to polish in recessed areas, so I could probably do a little more to get that up there, but uh, in general that's kind of what I was looking for. These are fun because you could do a lot of different cutout designs and something like this. It wouldn't have to be a tree, although there's lots of different kinds of trees. You could do something more stylized with curly cues or something like that. That would, that would be fun. So I'll take some better pictures, put them at the end. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tree earring um, project. Uh, I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, I'm pleased with them. I hope that uh, my friend is pleased with them and her daughter gets many years of pleasure out of wearing them. So uh, thanks for watching. I, uh, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to hit the like button before you leave and feel free to leave a comment, whether it's constructive criticism, uh, you know, ideas for videos, or just, you know, let me know what, what you, kind of stuff you do. If you wanted to uh, support the channel in any way, make sure to check out the video description down below. Uh, there's ways to do that. One would be to check out the Patreon link. Another one, uh, there's a Buy Me a Coffee link, which just basically uh, gives me a little bit of money and helps me to buy supplies and things. Uh, you can visit my website down there and see some of the jewelry for sale. And there's a merch store as well. So check those out. Uh, watch a few more videos. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for coming. Take care. Happy silversmithing.